what area of research are you excited for the most? Or um, when it comes to even, it could be your research or something that you've seen and you know, and you could tell me both, what are you most excited about and what are you focused on in the coming year? So this is an excellent question. And now, uh, so the most hot topic area for now, and be tuned because we'll be back in Berlin in, th in three weeks, uh, exactly here uh, on 12 and 14 November. And we will have for the first time, I mean, scientific committee, the ASM AI, so which is a conference just dedicated to AI, mm. and the bigger expert will be there. But any at eleven, one day before, uh, the most experts, uh, including also me in this case, will be gathering together to understand how AI agents, which are these new perspective, would be will be implemented in healthcare with. Mm. Agent, which means that um, not only in a cancer field, but also in other uh, medical fields. And these agents like are integrated, are able to integrate different AI tools and also coordinated by large language models. And it's like a co-scientist. I mean, gives you, a gives to the doctor, in this case to me, gives me um, an action to do, not a prediction. So it means that he explained me exactly why to do it and how I have to do it and also the whole process. Obviously, we are still behind with the medical responsibility, with all the things related to the how it works legally and things like that. But this would be a fantastic area. While going back to my preferred topics, one for, for sure is clinical um, trial design with AI. And I'm very interested because uh, obviously we are building innovative things with that. And also the digital twin. Digital twin, it's a very, very nice concept. I mean... We didn't talk about in the, especially in the oncology field or immunotherapy field, et cetera, with this, because you need a lot of data to build these digital twins. Digital twins are using real data, basically, and this is why is the topic. They are dynamic model, which means that they need much more data compared to stable uh, models. However, the nice thing is they, why they are digital and twins, because they are the same real passion is projected. So his twin is projected over time. And you over time, the more you project the patient, you more you have to feed the patient with the data. And it's very fascinating because it's a dynamic model. It changed, but but in the next, let's say, years, however, are very useful specialized models to feed also the agent back because these agents needed this type of more specialized models now to take the decisions. Wow, this has been a very fascinating conversation. I could talk to you all day, um, but I thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here. Thank at you. MD thank News you for your podcast. kind invitation been... and also for the interest that you have all Absolutely. in these topics. I think this is really exciting because this year ESMO has, for the first time, the first ESMO track in AI and was really exciting seeing the room full of people inter interested in it. Fascinating. Thank you.